Hi everyone, thank you for watching this video. Um, if you haven't seen my previous uh, videos, I highly recommend that you go to my channel and watch that video where I show you how to build a Mega 3 from start to finish. So this video is actually a follow-up. What we're going to do in this video is create a sequence in x -Lite to bring that Mega 3 to life. So let's get started. So first of all, we're going to select this icon, which is the tree. And we're going to put our tree just right here. If you remember from that video, uh, my tree is made up of 1200 lights. So knowing that uh, our controller, the Falcon, can only handle 1024 lights per port, what I did is divided this, this tree in two. So port number one is going to be controlling 600 lights and port number two another 600 lights. So we need to tell X lights um, how we are uh, dividing those lights um, in in here. So the first of all, we're going to select uh, the number of strings. We're going to have two strings. Each of those um, strings is going to have 600 lights. And uh, each of that string is going to be creating 12 strands, you know, vertical. So there we go, just like that. So what we have here is 50 lights going up and then 50 lights going down. Another 15 going up and down. This is a zigzag pattern. So it's going to be going up and down. So on the front we have 600 lights and on the back we have another 600 lights. So this is how we're going to build our tree and x -Lite needs to know this setup. So now after we have this setup done, now we can create the sequence. So we click in the sequence tab. And let me move this uh, to this side. And now we're going to create a new sequence. It's going to be a musical sequence. We're going to add music. And I'm going to pick this uh, audio, which is uh, Michael Bublé, rocking around. Uh, 20 frames per second. Quick start. So there we have. We have the music just right here. So I'm going to click um, the plus sign just to drill down. So here we have 5 seconds, 10, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, 25 seconds. So now uh, I'm going to play the music just to see how it sounds. I'm going to click in here and the way it works is you press the space bar, uh, the music starts and you can stop it by clicking uh, the space bar again. So let's try it. There we go, we have music now. So now we're gonna uh, start adding the effects um, to our layer. Now I'm gonna click in here, right click, and I'm gonna insert another layer below this one. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm gonna have two effects, one on top of each other. So uh, this is gonna create a really nice effect on the tree having two effects, you know, merge or, uh, you know, yeah, merge in, in, into one. So um, let's start by adding a butterfly effect. This effect by itself is just beautiful. So I'm going to have five seconds of music. There we go. So here is how uh, the butterfly effect looks. Now I'm going to add a second effect, which is the same effect. I'm going to, but now I'm going to drag it to the layer below it. And you can expand and collapse, you know, this. Um, you can leave it for as many seconds as you want. That's up to you. Um, so, but in this effect, I'm going to change the settings. I'm going to pull the settings out. I'm going to drop it in here. And this second one is going to be style number two, which is this one. And it looks beautiful. So now what's going to do is it's going to start for a few seconds and then it's going to switch to the second effect. So let's try that out. I'm just going to click in here and spacebar. And it's going to switch. There we go. Nice. It's very simple to come out with the sequence in X lights. So let's add another effect. Um, let's do 
spirals. So I'm going to put this one in here. I'm going to expand it and I'm going to put it right on top of the other one and I'm going to add a few seconds just like that. So um, this one, um, you can select different colors. I have white and red. I'm going to add green if you want. Now you have three colors. You can add more if you want. Uh, that looks beautiful also. So I'm just going to leave two and I'm going to change the colors to be these two tones of, of blue and I'm going to change the spiral wraps to be a little bit more just like that. That, that looks way much better. Now um, I'm also going to add another effect which is meteors. So I'm going to drag this one down here. For now I'm going to put it on on this side. I'm not going to blend them together because I want to show you uh, how we're going to set up this one. So first of all I'm going to tell it that it's going to be the palette and the palette is the one that I have on the top and I only want white color just like that. And I'm going to add more meteors. Let's, uh, that looks much better. And now I'm going to tell them that is gonna go from right to left just like that oh it's going too fast let's slow it down a little bit still too fast still too fast that's too slow just like that one so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend these two effects together just like that and see how beautiful it looks so I'm gonna play it from right here clicking there spacebar and then it's gonna and now we have the meteors effect let's watch that again beautiful okay okay now if you notice um, you know when, when it changes from one effect to the other one it, it just like stops and, and it doesn't look quite right so what I'm gonna do is uh, put some fade in and fade out on these two effects so it looks uh, a little bit uh, better and I'll show you how to do that. You do that right in here. So this one is gonna fade out in the last two seconds. And you can see now we have this red um, line on top meaning that's gonna fade out and this one is gonna fade in in another two seconds and I'm gonna expand this a little bit so we can see them like this so let's see how it looks I'm gonna click in here and I'm gonna play it this is gonna fade in and then it's gonna fade out you see now the transition is way much better it just doesn't just kind of disappears you know so the blending is just slowly transitioning from one effect to another one and that's that's what I was looking for so let's keep adding some more effects um, I'm gonna add some let's add some snowflakes get snowflakes I'm gonna put it right here I'm gonna expand a few seconds and for this we can also change the effects I want more flakes much better and let's put in white and when I change the type type number two is the one that I want there we go and when I add red as well so now we have a red snowflake with a white center and it looks real nice and just to finish uh, this video I'm gonna add another effect which is the fire effect I'm going to drop it just right here. I'm going to show you how the effects looks. It's just like fire, you know, from, from, from the bottom. And you can change the height. You can make it go as high as you want. I'm going to put them just like that. I think that, that, that looks good. Road cycles, if you want some of them to be a little bit more uh, higher than the other ones, that's, uh, that's the one I want. And uh, what I'm going to do now is add the snowflakes on top of that. 
So it's going to be snowflakes falling on, on fire, just like that. Huh? Looks nice, right? There we go. So this is how easy it is to come up with a effect sequence for our mega tree. I highly recommend that you play around with some of the effects, you know, change some of the parameters, some of the settings, and you can come up with a really nice uh, sequence for your mega tree. So thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, throw me a comment if you want, if you have any questions, and thank you very much for watching this video.